Guys, this could be huge. Dan Wooten, the man who wrote the headline labeling Johnny Depp a wife B-word in The Sun, which is who Johnny Depp was actually suing, Dan in The Sun, not Amber Heard. Well, apparently Dan now is changing his tune and admitting that he too was duped by Amber Heard. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Now, let me say this right out the gate. Dan, I need to hear this from you, okay? I need to hear this from you. Where we're hearing this from, though, is Lady C, who we respect and love on this channel, and I applaud her for at least getting this out there. Look, Lady C is stuck in the middle. She covers the Royals. We all love Dan's coverage of the Royals. Dan has done some good reporting, but this stain on Johnny Depp's record is also one on Dan Wooten's, and Dan needs to address it. And we've applied some pressure out there, as I believe is deserved, Dan. Look, in order for you to come back from your own cancellation now, your wrongful accusations, you need to come help clean the record on Johnny Depp. I think it's only fair. Uh, and Lady C noticed out there that a lot of fans were making this comment. And in a recent stream, she addressed it. Now, she admits she talks to Dan, they're friends, and she doesn't get into too much detail as to what Dan said, but you could take some serious implications here. Let's watch what Lady C said about Dan, and then I'll be back to comment. And may I also say, several people have commented on the fact that they feel that Dan has received karma because of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> I'd still believe that, yes. Just let me point this out to you. First of all, as anybody who knows anything about me knows, I have been a strong supporter of Johnny Depp from the word go. And I have not believed that Amber Heard was anything but what she turned out to be from the word go. So... There's no doubt where my support lies, where that situation is concerned. That's why we love Lady C, because, yeah, she's she's on it. But, of course, I've spoken to Dan about it. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. And, you know, Johnny Depp was deceived by Amber Heard. Let's remember that. So was Dan Wooten. I know what I have recommended to him privately over the time that we have known each other and had a very cordial relationship. And I'm not going to go into it in any greater detail than that. But to say that, has it occurred to you, maybe his hands have been tied? After all, I don't think I can say more than that. But I think, you know, you need to remember that I'm an independent. Dan has never been an independent. Dan has worked for companies. And there are some things you can't do, you know, you can't ignore the strictures of company policy without destroying yourself and your reputation and your career. So I leave you with that thought, that maybe we could be a little bit more compassionate where Dan and that whole Amber Heard business is concerned because let's remember Johnny Depp is the one who married her because she duped him and she duped Dan Wooten as well. So having made that point, Listen, with all due respect, I appreciate everything Lady C said. Please don't direct any ire towards her. My goodness, leave her alone. I just applaud that she at least got this out there and she did give us something. So thank you, Lady C. However, with all due respect, Dan, now I'm talking to Dan. If that's Dan's excuse, I haven't heard from Dan. If that's Dan's excuse for not speaking publicly, well, Dan, 
untie your hands. I mean, I I don't know what's stopping you. What is what is the problem that could be stopping you? So the son, there's a lawsuit. There were lawyer fees that were paid. Uh, there must be a way to untie Dan's hands just to get the truth out there. I can't imagine Johnny wants to sue and have anything to do with any of these people anymore. He's moved on. I haven't, but he has. Good for him. He's working. And I know I speak for a lot of you in that this would be such a nice cap on it all to have the man who is out there saying this in the UK verdict, which is what so many still cling to, to, to say that Johnny's uh, guilty, to have the man who wrote it re recant it would be massive. So Dan, I'm sorry, I, 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 this is not enough. If this is really how you feel, well, great. We've A lot of people were duped by Amber Heard. Welcome to the club. But it's time for you to do the right thing and fix this. And just to help, I, I don't know how much Lady C was really following what Dan Wooten did. I just want to be clear, Dan, it's not just that you wrote this. I, I got to keep it honest, buddy. And this is why you need to address it, because it's way bigger than I think Lady C and maybe even others understand. You wrote this, which triggered the whole article and this lawsuit. And then afterwards, you double down on it. When you won... Now we can, I got to be careful because I'm trying not to, I suppose, YouTube, blame YouTube. He is a wife B word. We can confirm on behalf of all domestic abuse survivors. We can now confirm he is. This was Dan's follow-up piece when they won, which is just so shameful because it's false. And then that's 2020. Let's fast forward, Dan, to April 29th, 2022. This is during the trial. Two years after the win, during the trial, Johnny Depp is not a victim of cancel culture. He's spent years trying to cancel Amber Heard and me. This farce of a trial is designed to ruin his ex-wife, but won't erase the damning judgment against him. Your name's all over this, brother. And this was two years after. Two years after when you should have known better. At this point, you should have known better. Now, this was... Uh, like a week or so before Amber took the stand. Once Amber took the stand, then everything else happened. A lot of people like Dan shut up at that point because <laughs> they're like, oh, I bet on the wrong horse. <laughs> it's what you, that's, let's keep it honest, Dan. That's what happened here. And uh, yeah, your, your, your feelings there with her uh, tainted your judgment. And I want to read a couple portions of this. After dragging my, my butt through the high court for two years, which resulted in a humiliating loss for him and complete vindication for me, I genuinely intended to never talk about Johnny Depp again. I actually feel sorry for the former Hollywood icon who has become a pathetic excuse of a man. Look, Lady C, I know you're friends with this guy, but can you see why we're still angry? This man who has been duped just leaned in and destroyed this other person you support, Johnny Depp. And I don't want to put you in the middle, but it's the perfect reason you are helping to be conduit to explain why we're still so emotional. This wasn't just some like little thing Dan did. He tripled down on it. And then as the trial where Johnny Depp was just go, trying to fend for his life because Dan had just crushed it with lies, supporting a liar, Johnny's fighting for his life and Dan still came out of the shadows to call him a pathetic excuse of a man. He would get revenge at any cost. Is that what justice is, Dan? I thought you just were going to become the, the warrior for us all for due process. No, Dan didn't care about a trial actually getting to the truth and a jury. No, he was here sipping for Amber. Ru ruining his ex-wife is his goal no matter how much it costs, how many lives it destroys, and how much it taints his own reputation forever. Watching the vile court case develop in the UK and US, I feel morally compelled to speak out. I, 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 there, you, you should read this. It's, it's awful. And anybody who's read the UK verdict knows that judge was on something. He just retired and he ignored clear evidence. He decided with Amber because Me Too movement. And then when the appeal tried to come in, we're more had come in to dispute some of the things that Judge Nichols even ruled on. He said, nope, sorry, bye. It was a travesty of justice. And thank God a jury actually heard him out and due process was held, Dan, because you say you believe in it. And Johnny was found innocent. And it was actually found that there was no proof of it. Amber was defaming her and Amber was the abuser. Now, it's important, you, you, like this article is so offensive 
It is so offensive, Dan, what you wrote here. Uh, sorry, there's one. I want to find this one particular. Sorry, I, I, I had it open and now it's here. It, this, this, there's a couple portions in here. Is so awful. Here, here it goes. A completely incorrect narrative is developing that Depp is somehow the victim of cancel culture, a vile trend spent spreading like a plague through the Western world that I deplore and spend my professional life campaigning against. What, cancel culture? Dude, that's what just happened to you. <laughs> Dude, this suggestion is farcical given this entire mess of Depp's own making. If anything, he canceled himself. Indisputable, huh, Dan? This is indisputable. Dude, you have to say something. You have to untie your hands. I don't know what, you're, you're, you're allegiant to the sun? You don't work for them anymore. You don't work for GBN either. You're independent. And you want to build an independent voice and be the, the voice of due process? Well, then you got to right this wrong. And I'm not going to stay silent until you do. I'm sorry, as much as I respect a lot of the other work you're doing, this is a stain on both your records, yours and Johnny. Right your wrongs. And then we can come to learn to forgive or maybe forget and respect. Until you do, we just, some of us, we can't. This is karma. And the fact that you're now, oh, I'm, my hands are tied. Have some empathy for me because I can't speak. Uh, the sun might sue me. Well, then maybe that's what needs to happen, Dan. Because you tried to ruin this innocent man's life. And you now know, as someone who's been through it, as I know, as I've been through it, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. The cancel culture and the mob and online trial by media. It is disgusting the way society has turned. And if you really want to be the better person now and not be a pathetic man yourself, well, you need to write this wrong. Because this is this is awful. It's it's it is the sort of online campaign remains subjected to even even I remain subjected to pales into comparison to the torment they unleash on Amber, a young mom facing bankruptcy and a career ruin if she loses the case. Yeah, because she's lying. She did, talk about someone who did it to herself. She's on tape, and then you quote Eve Barlow. I mean, this woman's a, in my opinion, a psychopath. <laughs> I, what, what are you doing, Dan? You were in Team Amber's camp and you were leaning in during the trial. This article is, a, is an embarrassment on your record. Johnny Depp is not a victim of cancel culture. He's a proponent of it. He tried to cancel me and failed in the London libel courts. And now he's trying to cancel Amber Heard in the U.S. Shame on him. No, shame on you. So no, I'm, I love Lady C. There's no disrespect to Lady C. But no, I have no empathy for a man who wrote this op-ed when Johnny Depp was fighting for his life. And if you respect Johnny Depp, then you got to understand some of us are never going to come around to Dan until he writes this wrong. So Dan, I implore you. I'd love to figure out how do we untie your hands? What can we do? How can I help? Reach out to me off the record anytime, Dan. I mean it. I don't want to burn any bridges. And I will even talk to Dan fairly civilly off the record to try to understand what am I missing here? Help me understand, Dan. If you really truly believe this, let's have a conversation off the record and figure out how can we get you on the record to tell the truth, to help combat this? Because a lot of people read this, brother. You, you are, you've been pushing this narrative for a long time. And while I believe Johnny's innocent now, the case proved it and he's moved on, I don't think Johnny cares about any of this, to be fair. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm, this is not something I'm doing on behalf of Team Depp or Johnny. Let me make that clear. This is me and my own doing, my own feelings. I, I, But I do really believe Johnny's moved on from all this and wants nothing to do with any of these bozos. I really do believe it. However, for me, and I'm sure others, it'd be nice to get Dan to retract this, to admit, no, that wasn't, that wasn't true. She bamboozled me. This headline I wrote, it's not accurate. It would take away a lot of weight that people still use to this day, Dan, to try to cancel Johnny. And as someone who's been canceled now, I hope you understand how important it is to right that wrong. So yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to, to, to stop hounding you and, and, and making this be an, a point. And I hope someone forces him to say, I don't care what your hands are tied or legally. I don't care. Do the right thing. There are ways to do it, and I will help you figure that out. Honestly, we can walk the line of whatever. If you explain it, I will respectfully help you walk that line, even though 
I'm not a big fan of what you did. I think it's important we all have paths to redemption. I do. I do. But in order to get to that other side, you have to take some accountability and you have to follow through on some actions. And right now, the accountability I'm going to demand of Dan is talking about these headlines. As someone who has just canceled himself, this is not helpful. These were not helpful. This wasn't fair to Johnny, to real survivors. You have to atone for this wrong. You've atoned for your wrongs on Michael Jackson. You've admitted you were wrong about that documentary. Dan, if you want to succeed and be even better than you were, tell the truth. Come forward and tell the truth, please. And if you guys want to follow this story, keep at it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell for alerts so you get notified. Smash that like button. And tell me what you think in the comments down below. I know many of you like Dan. I know a lot of us want to like Dan but based on his uh, some of his other coverage. I get it. I, I, I do like some of his other coverage, but I can't forgive and forget this. And I hope you guys will understand as I continue to, to put some prep, apply some pressure, you now understand where I'm coming from and why. And, and again, no disrespect to Lady C and others. I just, Dan, I, no, I'm not letting this, you, you don't get a redemption card after what you did here. You look like a complete hypocrite. So right the wrong. Everyone deserves a second chance, but take the actions to get there. Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? What do you think? Down below, leave the comments. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.